you have seen one child with autism, you have seen one child with autism. How many of you are familiar with this phrase? Raise your hands. Almost everyone. That is a phrase we use to describe heterogeneity or diversity in autism. Now take a look at this phrase. This is a phrase by a mother of a child participating in one of our research studies. When my three-year-old son was diagnosed with autism, I never thought he would one day play for his school basketball team. So in my opinion, that is a phrase that speaks to the diversity of outcomes in children and youth and individuals with autism. It really got me thinking. It reminded me how little we know about a child's trajectory at that initial point of diagnosis. As a researcher, I have been studying autism heterogeneity for years. But my work, as, work as, as well as the work of my colleagues, at least most of my colleagues, was based on a rather static view of autism. We would ask questions like, how are kids similar or different at the point of diagnosis? Or how are kids similar or different before and after a specific treatment? But we know that autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder. I personally think we're doing a good job for the neuropath in terms of research. And I encourage everyone to think more about the developmental part. Development is complex and it's dynamic. And it never follows a straight line. So as researchers, it is those complexities that we need to embed in our work and make sure that we have a way of capturing the diversity as children and youth grow and develop. So my colleagues and I recently introduced the concept of chronogeneity, which is the study of heterogeneity in relation to the dimension of time. Everyone is talking about the need for a continuum of care, systems of care that are continuous, as seamless as possible, and adaptive to the changing needs of individuals with autism and their families. For researchers to be able to inform the development and the evaluation of these types of systems of care, we need to embed the chronogeneity into our work. That's going to require large collaborations, and it's going to require a different way of thinking about analyzing our data and drawing conclusions from our data. So my message today to you is to take out your autism lexicon, go to the innovations chapter, and add the term chronogeneity, the study of heterogeneity in relation to the dimension of time. I will also ask you to delete two other terms from that lexicon. Delete the word ego, whether it's the ego of a superstar scientist, whether it's the ego of an institution or an organization. To have true collaborations, we need to delete the word ego. And also delete the word partisan politics. <laughs> There's nothing innovative about politics and egos when you're trying to improve the way you do research that can then help individuals and families affected by autism. This is Canada, and we can do better. Thank you for your time.